I'm upset. 50,000 know my head is disrespect. Remember, Coach Gross has two timeouts. So they spread the floor. They're going to let him play. Here's Brandon Paul. Eight seconds to go. Paul will go for the winner. Paul crosses over. 15 foot out. Spread the floor, Gus, and allow Brandon Paul. That's a tough shot, a right-handed shooter going to his left. No question he got it off in time. And the senior rescues Illinois when it looked like Minnesota might climb all the way back. But Brandon Paul sends the Gophers back to the Twin Cities heartbroken. in a three-point game. It's on the way. He left it short. Rebound to Feagan. 11 seconds left. Jack's down two. Walters, front court, seven left. He'll dribble right of the key. Hands off to Carlson with four left. Carlson left wing, Chad White. Two seconds left. Contested three. Good! The Jacks win it on Chad White's three! to take a timeout, and I think they're going to clear it out for Paul to take it. Five. Paul tied up. Four got the it. win. He got it to go. Akeem Richmond. They'll automatically go back and look at the monitor. But it looked to me like it was in plenty of time. And East Carolina, for the first time, had a winning record in Conference USA. For the first time in 48 years as a D1 school, had 20 plus timeouts for Marquette. They do have the arrow. One timeout for St. John's. And the worst case for Marquette again, and they have the luxury of worst case going to a double overtime right now. They go to Hayward this time, and he's got it in his hands. Butler going to go again, stripped by Booth. His turnaround oh. at the buzzer. They're going to check that one. Obviously, they have to by rule, but my instincts say that was a good shot right there. Shot set up, right? There's going to be a deflection right here. Tracks the ball down. And let's take a look. There's .5 left on the shot clock. No question about it in my mind. The ability to square in the air by Butler to knock it down. Sometimes Only five to shoot. Barber's got to get the offense going. Runs into Martin. She'll shoot the three. Got it. At the buzzer. Wow. Barber wins it for the Wolfpack. <laughs> and he is mobbed by his teammates in front of the bench. You see, that ball was well in the air by the time the red light came around the basket. They're going to take the timeout. Five seconds left. Stall. Three seconds left. Stall. Brock in the paint. Puts it up for the win. Yes, sir! Brock Stall just won this game for Milwaukee. To try to play good defense without firing. A two to tie and a three for Habs to win it. Brokaw firing. Long distance. Yeah! It's over! You got to block out first or you'll lose on the tip in here. And Roberts has them both. Ball game time. Bekba into pointer. Quickly to the front court. Charging inside. Step back jump about pointer. God! And he beat the buzzer! And they're going to go check it on the video. But I, I'm not entirely sure why they allowed that ball in so easily, Mike. It looked like there was a little bit of confusion, but they just let him catch it. Nobody even... I think it did, Mike. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh, not even close. It's good. And the question is, do they want to put two tenths of a second on or not? I don't know, but it definitely beats the clock here. Let's see when it goes in the basket. It's in with maybe point two or point one. Here we go. Two to go. 
Trip to the Sweet 16. Caney's got it. Rises up. The shot. And it's good! It's good! Wisconsin has won it! Holmes wins it! Hits the three and Texas wins! Thomas Gibson just fell asleep. I think he was anticipating Felix coming back off the pick. Jonathan Holmes just pops right to the basketball. And that's within his wheelhouse right there to knock down the three, the high arcing shot, the follow through help. But in that case, Thomas gets it. 75 again. Isaiah, shot clock turned up. Game clock at eight. He's going to do it himself. Thomas, shake, crossover, step back. At the buzzer. Wins it on a last second day. Cole Blooded. Gus, what has to happen in this situation is the officials must go to the monitor. Clearly, it was well before the buzzer. Watch the backboard, see it light up. Not until the ball was in the net. But by rule, the officials go. This is unbelievable. Out of his hand with one point something to go. No problem. 28 points for Isaiah Thomas. Fitting that he should be the one to make the basket at the end. Nobody on him. And he'll throw it inbounds to Howard. Howard across midcourt. Three seconds, two seconds. Howard fading away. Three, good if it goes. And it does. And the Dayton Flyers have lost in 